The police officer, Lance Corporal Frank Edupoku, and Joel Oseus were arrested on 22nd July 2022 after they allegedly raped the victim on 19th July 2022. The two persons were subsequently remanded on 28th July 2022. Lawyer for the KNST final year student, for instance, advanced the argument that a continuous incarceration of his client on the basis of a mere allegation is a violation of the rights and liberties of his client. As the prosecution tells the court that a docket on the matter has been forwarded to the Office of the Attorney General for advice, the lawyer for the final year student, Safuduku, stated that the advice from the Attorney General's office usually takes long and as such, the accused should be granted bail since every offence is bailable. The lawyer further indicated that since the first accused person is a final year student and is set to write exams in order for him to graduate, the court should grant him bail for him to prepare ahead of the exams. On the part of the second accused person, the interdicted police officer, his lawyer, Kwaku Yabuakua, said, since the docket has been submitted to the office of the Attorney General, he assumed that the police have completed their investigations and as such, there is no need to continuously keep his client in police custody. He added that the police also know his client's fixed place of abode and as such, he should be granted bail as he will cooperate with the police and attend court proceedings as well. The Ashanti Regional Head of Legal and Prosecutions, ACP Kofi Blagoji, who is the prosecutor handling the case, however, in his argument, opposed the decision to grant the two persons bail. He stressed that the police are still conducting investigations into the case, and since the Ascarimabon District Court lacks jurisdiction to grant bail in such a case, which is a first-degree felony, the lawyers should seek bail for their clients at a higher court. He further told the court that a KNWST lawyer who was present in court has disclosed to him that processes are being followed to ensure the final year student is suspended and as such, there is no need to grant him bail to go and write his exams. The magistrate, his worship, Boabin Kwanza, in his ruling said, because of the public interest attached to the matter, there is the need to remand them. Speaking to City News after the court proceedings, ACP Kofi Blagoji said the Attorney General's office is very much aware of the public interest associated with the matter and has thus assured that it is working speedily to deliver its advice on the matter to ensure the committal processes begin as early as possible. Lawyers for the accused persons uh, repeated the application for bail and I draw the court's attention that my Lord has no jurisdiction to grant bail in respect of this matter because it is a first degree felony offense of rape and I, and I made my lord aware that uh, they know the appropriate forum that they have to make certain application. This forum is not convenient, so I made my lord aware. And then my lord have held my submission and they remanded me. In respect of this matter, the AG is uh, very much aware of the public interest. So they are also working very speedily to come and proceed with the committal proceedings. So this is what I made a court aware. The police officer has been interdicted, but my learned friend who is from the university, he's a lawyer from the university, made me aware that uh, there's processes to get the students suspended. This is what he just told me. But that one is not within the domain of the police, so I can't I can proceed. The matter has been adjourned to 23rd August 2022 by which time the court expects that the advice from the Office of the Attorney General will be ready. For City News, I'm Edward Upon Marfo, Ascrimampon District Court.